Hey, that's not the color Kirby's supposed to be. Yeah, what's going on, Toe Brigade? Welcome to Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I'm Rod Marsum. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome, welcome, and welcome again. How is everybody doing? Hope you guys are well. So there was a lot of stuff going. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on today. Oh my gosh, I was. Wait, wait, wait. Was that was that was, was that story? Wait a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna let that play out real quick. What's going there, Shadow? What launch bandana do the world may never know? Yeah, so there was a there, apparently there was a huge shooting that happened down the street from where I live. So that's always exciting. Luckily though, I'm safe, so I wasn't even in the area at the time. But man, it was blow it it was blowing up news reports like crazy. Anyway, we got a little we got a little cutscene. Hey, what's going there, Ty? There it is. It's covering up the screen. I can't see what's going on. I can't see what's going on. Oh, there it is. Thanks, Ty, for the membership. So yeah, Meta Knight's just reading a book. I wonder what he's reading about. Oh, Kirby, you and your strawberry shirt. Okay, we already played Squeak Squad. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, look, there's a mysterious uh, ship going, on, going by. It's funny because I have a command for Ty and Kai, which is literally just one letter different. <laughs> That's funny. Let's go in here, armchair. He's reading about how to make a bomb. Who knows? Also, this art style is kind of weird for this game. I don't know why they chose like these outline art style. It's the same one they use. I think that's the same one they use for like the 3DS Kirby games. Oh, that's cool, Barry. Who is this? Who is this? Wait, what you mean the flag in your area was half masked? I'm confused. How's it going, Mario Adventure Gamer? So yeah, there's no that luckily there's no like dial like stuff I have to read. There's no narration. It's just a cutscene, but I still want the show to solve. So yeah, this alien guy, <laughs> whatever he's really supposed to be, uh is sad because his the star cutter cannot launch. But Kirby is willing to help. So, yeah, Kirby's always the helpful one. But I absolutely love this game, though. I'm glad they can finally get started on this one. Yeah, see you later, whoever you are. We'll get your Star Cutter ship back up and running. I'm sorry this took so long. <laughs> I haven't even started on the game yet. This took so long. Okay, now. <laughs> oh, look at that percentage. Oh, that percentage is perfect right now. 69. Yeah, that's my actual file that I've been playing through. But we're going to go to the empty file. Uh, Connect online. Don't. I, I'm not going to be doing anything online right now until after I finish the main mode. So, yeah, story mode. We got 0%. Yeah, we're 0% of the way there, guys. Oh, this place is... Wait, is this the same thing again? Do I have to watch this again? Oh, never mind. I don't have to watch it again. Okay, so we got our first world here on Popstar. Adventure with Magalore. A visitor in Magalore has dropped out of the blue and landed on planet Popstar. He's ready to lend a helping hand during your adventure. He'll give you potions that double your stamina and save you from down falling down holes. This will activate auto swallow for Kirby. I don't need Magalore's help. But yeah, level one, Cookie Country. I want you guys to pay attention to these different names of these uh levels. I don't know why they call them levels and not worlds or areas. Why do they call them levels? They they've been doing that since um Kirby's adventure. But yeah, we have C as the first letter. I just want to... 
Oh, yeah, Star Fox 64. I have not played that game in a long time. Well, I don't have a local Switch player, so I could not play four players online, but thank you for telling me. So, Kirby controls just like you normally would. For 2D games like this, I prefer using the D-pad or the control pad. I don't like using the analog stick. I know the game suggests you do, but I don't. it feels weird to play with the analog stick for a 2D platformer. I don't know. Does anybody else feel that way? Like, if the option's there to play with the D-pad, I'm going to be doing it. But, yeah, Kirby can fly. He can inhale and do all the other fun stuff that we've known him for. Oh, yeah, here's sword ability. It's funny how this is the first ability that Kirby gets in the game. That's pretty funny. I love I love sword. It's one of my favorite abilities. But, uh, yeah, and then you could pause the game to look at all the different attacks and defense mechanisms of each ability, which is pretty neat. That's been a thing since Kirby's Adventure. You don't feel that way? You don't feel like it's clunky? I don't, I don't know. It just feels wrong to me. Yeah, Sword was always one of my favorites. Plus, it's a Zelda reference with Link wearing a green a green hat. Um, we do have one that's open. Uh, Forgotten Land. Which I'm going to be doing in the future. Yeah, you, th you guys thought I wasn't going to do Forgotten Land. You're crazy. I love that game, by the way. Forgotten Land is so damn good. Yeah, it just ha it happened around 2.30, uh, Mandy. And here we go. We got our first Energy Sphere. Energy Sphere are scattered across the land. Try to find all the hidden ones. So that's one you can't miss. Well, I guess you can if you just walk by it, but why would you do that if it's mandatory? Well, it's mandatory to 100%. I could get this one up, but I don't need it right now. Also, there is going to be something. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for this particular Kirby playthrough. So, um, I'm not going to talk about it right now. I'm going to talk about when I beat the main mode. But I am going to be doing something a little bit differently. I will be going to my other file. Um after the main adventure you're gonna see why when i uh when i get to that point you can make them wear green you could just dye some clothes green in that game <laughs> which i actually did um oh and here's the exclusive thing for this game so there are certain enemies that have these uh glowing r's to them Kurt inhale them and then kirby gets a super ability so here's the ultra sword which is freaking awesome. He gets a huge ass sword, like the Excalibur or something like that. And just can slash away at enemies. Oh, it's so satisfying. You hope Dreamland has money? It has stars. If you want to count, do you count the stars as money? Dude, he, this dude just had a cleaver in his hand. Are you kidding me? Man, Kirby might be adorable, but you don't want to mess with this dude. Kirby's the most adorable badass you'll ever see. Yeah, uh, hot kid. <laughs> Wario's here. Also, I just got a friend request from someone. Um, let me know who you are in chat who sent me that. It's weird I got a friend request during a single player game. That doesn't usually happen unless it's Mario Maker 2. That's odd. It's not like I'm playing Smash or Mario Kart. Oh, it's you? Okay, thank you, uh, Mario Adventure. But yeah, these are these interdimensional um, little areas. We have to fight like a mini boss here to get two energy spheres. There are, there are quite a few of these during the game. Uh, fire. I'm going to use fire. Fire has an ability that I really like. Uh, what, how do you do it again? I I don't remember if this was in another game or not, but it's the fireball roll. It's this. Wait. Yeah, you have to do it like just before he touches the ground, and then he can do that. I never knew. It's like down B, and then he then he just rolls across for a little bit. It's pretty fun to use, but I just don't find myself using it that much. 
Yeah, Kirby, Kirby, Kirby is the name you should know. <laughs> yeah, who, how many of you guys have watched Kirby right back at you, right, by, by the way? How many of you guys have watched that show? It, it, was, it was actually pretty good. This makes me want to watch the show again. <laughs> I haven't seen every episode, but I... Dude, I, I love the fact that they gave uh, freaking King DDD the accent they gave him. Okay, so we found all the energy spheres in the first level of Cookie Country. Pikachu is very weak compared to a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, as much as I love Pikachu, Pikachu does have a lot of shortcomings in the games. It, it, it really does. But, you know, Pikachu's not meant to be like this ultra-powerful Pokemon anyway, so I can excuse it. And yeah, there's a there's our classic mini game that you play at the end of each level. Kirby would never die fighting uh, Majin Buu. Never, never. Mortal Kombat Ermac. Look, I like Ermac. You know, could you imagine Kirby in like uh, swallowing someone from Mortal Kombat and just getting? Oh my gosh, that would be devastating. But, uh, yeah. Oh, here's an ability that debuted in this game, Leaf. I, this is one of my favorite abilities in the Kirby series. I love Leaf. You wouldn't think Leaves would be this dangerous, but then again, I've seen Leaves pretty, pretty dangerous in certain games. Yeah, Kirby would be OP. It's OP as hell. But yeah, one thing I like about Leaf is this. Like, he can basically, like, camouflage, which is fun. I, I love I love the camouflage ability. It, there is another ability that does a similar thing whenever Kirby blocks with the RL button. It's um it's called Archer, but that's not in this game. Hey, Game Lover 64. Welcome to Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I'm surprised Pika Gal's not here. She loves Kirby. And guys, don't forget to... I'm trying to think of how to phrase it this time. Don't forget to swallow that like button. I don't freaking know. Inhale that like button. Oh my gosh. You know, if Meta Knight wasn't, wasn't such a Nintendo character, I could see him in a game that, uh, like Mortal Kombat. Because he, he has that sword of his. Meta Knight's my favorite um, Kirby character, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. Love Meta Knight. Such a such a total badass. Oh, oh, what right. Oh, okay. This can be kind of dangerous. If I if I have Kirby stand underneath. Wait a minute, does he Yeah, I think he does die. Like if one of those things crushes him. That actually happened to me in a later stage. Uh because I wasn't paying attention. And Kirby cut one of the ropes with, like, Cutter. And then he got crushed by the platform that fell on him and he died. <laughs> okay, here's another thing in this game. We have these temporary power-ups that Kirby can get. And usually they're useful for finding secrets or certain um, energy spheres. Like this one. Oh, remember this? Remember when this broom hatter was an ability in Kirby's Dream Land 3? <laughs> remember when we had cleaning ability? Gosh. Okay, needle. This this ability used to always be one-dimensional, but I'm glad they gave it some other purposes in this game. So, yeah, here's the thing. It was going there. Bonnie Bunny Gaming, I think you are new. I don't remember seeing you here before, unless you have a, unless you've been here before with a different name. But Needle, if... See, this is all Needle used to be. It used to be just this, right? But if you keep pressing the control stick or whatever, he can do that, which is pretty neat. ESP is your favorite ability. Not in, It's not in this game, unfortunately. That's in the 3DS Kirby games.
Wait a minute, guys. Give me just a sec. I'll be right back. Me has returned, everybody. But, uh, yeah, back to Needle. So, you can shake the controller, too. Well, I don't have that type of controller to do that with. I didn't know you could shake the controller and do that. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, Needle is so fun in this game. Am I the only Megalore? Megalore is a cool character. Beam... One of my favorites from Kirby's uh, Superstar. Oh, we'll be seeing a lot of this guy. Yeah, thanks for the WBs, guys. So usually when they have a mini boss in a, in a level, uh, it's probably best to pick up their ability that they have because one of the next secrets or... Yup, see that? Oh, no, it was this kind of platform that killed Kirby that one time. Um, so, yeah, use sword to cut that rope and then go up here and get the energy sphere. There we go. I don't see myself dying too much in these first levels because it is the beginning of the game after all. Also, you know what? I should probably talk about this, too. Um... I might talk about it again when I stream Mario Maker 2, because you guys know that's my next stream, right? Um, so apparently, I just got freaking, um, well, I looked it up on Google or whatever. I looked it up. Apparently, Mariah's coming out with a new album, and I'm so freaking excited. I didn't even know about it. I, I missed an energy, wait, I missed one? I missed one. Mary Magdalene is now open. Magdalene is built in the music part on a distant planet. It's filled with attractions and souvenirs. You can visit anytime by pressing X. I missed an energy sphere. Why well, I gotta do this level again? I didn't even know I missed one. Where was the one that I missed? Yes, I will be going for all. I will be going for 100%. I will. So, if you guys are worried that I'm not going for 100% in a Kirby game, well, you're you are insane. But um, anyway, as I was saying, so apparently, yeah, she's coming out with a new album, and I didn't even know about that. Um, and it's freaking awesome. Uh, of course, there were people like saying, that, "Oh, she should just give up. She's so washed up. Her voice is not as good as it used to be." No, it's still, it's still good. Like, of course, it's not going to be as good as it used to be, but it's still good. Like, people are just mad because they can't sing like she does. You're mad. They're people People are coping so hard that she's coming out with a new album. Like, dude. And, like, it, it's like, it, is it really a secret that, that I like her music? Like, is it really a secret anymore? I don't think it is. I'm not even ashamed to admit it. Like, there's guys who are ashamed to admit that they, that they probably like a female artist because they don't want to seem like... They don't want to seem like they're um weak or whatever. Oh, hey, there's Pika. I was just asking about you. I was like, I know you love Kirby. Yeah, I'm finally doing a Kirby game again. 
But I'm not afraid to admit that I like Mariah Carey's. Like, dude, she's she's good. I just hope that the I just hope the record label like actually allows her to have the most success with the singles lay the singles um choices because man her later stuff they were promoted so poorly bro and what what's going on um peak oh i gotta wait does your command still work let me see i don't want to imagine that uh aaron <laughs> I never played the original, so that's why I'm playing the remake. So, yeah. I was going to play the remake anyway. Wait, where is the... Yeah, I want to know where is the energy. Oh, right here. I completely forgot. So, yeah, this well-hidden door up here has the energy sphere. Okay, I can see why I missed that. I can see... Wait, that's not it. But there is a lollipop. That's not it. Okay. But yeah, how's it going, Pika Go? It's good to see you. Also, yeah, um, the command. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. There it is. Okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I can see why I missed that. Because it's kind of well hidden. Um. What's going on, Yusuke Knight? Welcome to Kirby's. I'm about to say Kirby Triple Deluxe. No, I, I'm I'm gonna try to do the 3DS Kirby games. I'm gonna try to do them, cause those are those are some of the best Kirby games in the series. Uh, you said you love her Christmas music. Never listen to her regular stuff. Her regular stuff's really good. Like it's really really good. I would I would recommend I would recommend listening to some of her regular music. Like, it's a shame that a lot of people only know her by her Christmas music, which I feel like that's a crime, in my opinion. I feel like it's a crime that people only know her. They only know her for her Christmas music. Like, uh... She has the holiday curse, but, yeah. I actually made a post about about like what my one of my least favorite Mariah Carey songs is uh it's called Bye Bye like that was the single they chose instead of you know a proper a proper song for like a summer hit like why would they why would they choose to say why would they choose the most like that's the blandest song on that album honestly in, in my opinion it is it's just not it's not fun to listen to like I don't want I don't want to hear a song about someone grieving over their love their their lost loved ones. As 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 sweet as the song is, I don't that's not what I would need to hear at the time. It was the wrong time for that. <laughs> but I I'm, I'm not going to get into that discussion right now. I want to play some Kirby. You should get an Elphalin mask. Oh yeah, mask is something new. I Wait, were masks in the original game? Cuz like I said I never played the original. No, actually I don't think they were because Oh, no, they definitely weren't, because Mag Mag Magaland wasn't in the original game either. Oh, here's a good song. I love this this uh, theme. I love it. What's going on, Nightly? Welcome to Kirby. Uh, I'm about to say Triple Deluxe. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to actually say Triple Deluxe. Right, because I want to stream that game so bad. Uh, this is going to be one of the longer Kirby titles to stream because there's a lot of content. You know, that's something that's kind of missing from a lot of games is, you know, content. You think Robobot is better? I, you know, I never fin I never finished playing Robobot before. Wait, is Wa wait, what is Wario saying about Mariah? <laughs> You're still her. Oh, he says he'll steal her new album. Well, you're gonna be disappointed because there's no money on it. There's no money in it. Yeah, the the music in this game is so good. I can't wait to get to the uh level six. I think it's is it level six? Yeah, it is level six, cause dude, 
one of the themes in level six is it's a factory level oh my gosh the music there is so like i will put it in my top 10 favorite kirby tracks of, of any uh soundtrack it's so good you'll know when you hear it oh i cannot wait also i think i skipped an ability back there earlier in uh in this level I'm doing fine, Nightly. Thanks for asking, by the way. Okay, so we gotta get this guy. We gotta get to the end before this guy, because he's gonna try to, like... He's kind of like a kamikaze. Well, is he, is he really an enemy? I don't know what to really call this guy. But this one's really easy. Just get to him and then... And then take the key. Then the world is so over. And there we go. These are really easy, so I'm not really worried about it. And here's a uh, festival. What's weird about festival became like uh, an ability with different moves, but in this game, it's just a screen nuke. And Kirby just has a freaking celebration and then just kills off any enemies on screen. No, it's not a bad thing. Actually, I'm I'm glad that you did. I thought I thought I had you as a friend already, but I'll accept your friend request after the stream is over. I don't want you to think that I'm ignoring your friend request or anything. Kirby 64 needs a remake. Like, I don't know why they haven't I don't know how they haven't done it yet. I mean, well, this game is better than Kirby 64, but... Dude, Kirby 64 should totally be the next remake. Because just like with the Oracle Zelda games, Kirby 64 is starting to become very dated and it's starting to become, like, harder to access. And it could use some quality of life improvements. Like, there's no reason why we shouldn't get a Kirby 64 remake. With all the times they reference Kirby 64, I'm surprised they haven't even... I'm surprised it hasn't been considered yet. Kirby's Air Ride. That could be a good spinoff title. Oh, this one. Oh, this. This. Uh, yeah, this right here. That's. That's kind of easy to miss because you wouldn't think to go through there. But if you look really carefully, you could see that there's a path down here. We need a new Star Fox. I'm not really into Star Fox all that much, but I do like the first two games. Wait, the how the how laboratory room is in this? I I actually never found it. I I don't think I found it. Also, if this was a later Kirby game that would have given Kirby Archer ability. Don't enter the wait. Don't enter the door. Wait, I already entered the door. I missed it. Oh. I didn't. I actually never knew about that. Uh, how how laboratory room. I kind of want to see it. I, I know it's just an Easter egg, but I kind of want to see it. I'll beat the level and then come back to it and then do it. And then I'll, I'll look for it then. Also, I love the um lo the invincibility lollipop theme. It's always been one of my favorites. It's like it's it's really weird because Kirby 64 is the only Kirby game that has a different theme for the invincibility. Like, every other Kirby game had the same theme pretty much, remixed across. But Kirby 64 for some reason has an entirely different theme. You'll tell me how to access it. Okay. Yeah, because you know what? That's one thing I never knew about. Like, if I already know what to do, like, you don't really have to give me hints or anything. But I never knew about the Howl Laboratory Room. I like the one from Kirby um, Superstar. That's my favorite version of that theme. What's going there, Jake? Got your Waddle D. Waddle D's are so adorable. 
I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of those in the future. Oh, we will. Oh, looks like we're going to get another one of these. Okay, now we have the fire super ability. I, I want to say that's what they're called, super abilities. But this one, Monster Flame. He summons a huge freaking dragon to just destroy everything. Oh, I did... I did do most of Forgotten Lands content. I think there's only a few things I didn't do in the game. Like, I, I think... One of the arenas I didn't finish, I think. But I did most of everything. I got, like, 90% completion. And I didn't find all of the, uh... Those ability-specific... I think this is where the, uh, yeah, this is where the, uh, the portal is going to show up. You can tell where the portal is going to show up in any of these super ability sections because basically if you have, if there's like a really big, um, thing to destroy or whatever, then you'll know that's where it's going to show up. Yeah, the blueprints. I never, I never got all of those either. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know why I just did that. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was that was such a like oh my gosh that that was bad. Why did I do that? Well, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a Rod Marson stream if I didn't do something stupid. It's, it's so funny. But yeah, the giant stars can just like go through like almost anything. It's it's so overpowered. I deserve that one up. I deserve it. After what just happened. Also, any of my mods are still here, by the way. I might consider making you a mod, Pika. Yeah, I'm going to use Leaf for this, uh, Sphere Doomer. Yeah, we're going to be seeing this little mini boss a lot in the course of the game. I cannot express how much fun Leaf is as an ability. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen Deadly Leaves before? Hey, what's going there, Tiger? Hey, can you get Tiger's Link for me, Armchair? Thank you very much. Someone make a SpongeBob reference that relates to the stream. I I want to make one, but I can't think of one right now. I can't think of one right now. It's unfortunate because I usually make at least one SpongeBob reference like every week. I can't think of one. I'm, I, I feel so bad. Then again, they just randomly come up during Mario Maker 2 streams. I just randomly come up with a Spongebob quote. I'm doing fine, Tiger. Thanks for asking. Okay, I think that's it for Cookie Country. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. So we've 100% cookie country. Well, we still got to fight the boss. Redeem stamp tickets. Stamp tickets can be redeemed for stamps in Mary Magaland. Collect lots of stamps to get special souvenirs. Mary Magaland is something else I'm going to be doing um, like on my other file because trying to unlock all this stuff is going to be very, very tedious on this file because I've already unlocked most of the stuff. But yeah, let's go fight the boss. I wonder who the boss is. You know, I, I actually wonder who the boss is. I wonder who the boss is going to be. Oh, right, the Howl Room. The Howl Room. But yeah, let me go back real quick. Let me go back real quick. Thank you for reminding me, Pika. Uh, what was that? Stage four, right? Mr. Vile needs a friend. No, he doesn't. Mr. Vile's a jerk. 
I'm gonna assume that the how laboratory door is behind one of these falling rock pillars. And you can easily miss it because you're like running past everything. What's going there, Beans? Welcome to Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Oh, you gotta wait, wait for a ra wait, wait for a rainbow. Oh yeah, I could check it out later. Backtrack. Yeah, I would have never found this, by the way. Keep going. Oh wait, the circle. Oh, I saw the rainbow circle. You feel a little strange right now, so do I. My throat's scratchy. Wait a minute. Um. I'm sorry I'm breaking up the tension. Wait, where? Okay, where is it then? If it's not the rainbow circle. You drew an oval, it has to be a circle. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that. I love the camping episode. Wait, go to the door past the to the corner once Rainbow appears, you backtrack. I'm confused though. Of the backtracking part. There should be a leaf-like door that appears. Okay, backtrack now. A leaf-like door. I have not seen one. Unless you mean the same door. Yeah, Kirby's a grass type now. He is... He is a grass type. Literally touched a corner. I'm so confused. Oh my gosh, this is taking so long just to find a secret door. Secret door, secret door. Secret door. Yeah, you anybody you and you guys get that reference? Okay, I touched the corner and now I'll go back. Oh, there it is. That is, dude, that is so, that is so, um, easy to miss. Yeah, thanks for that, Pika and Stromboli, for letting me know about this secret, because I never knew about this. Also, we can get Hammer or Fight. I'm gonna get Fighting. Oh, Sand is there, too, which is another ability in this game. So, yeah, here's the Howl Laboratory door. There's, a uh, Wing. There's a new ability, Matka and Ninja. I'm going to show those off later. Frost is on for imaginary friends. Yep, you're right. So yeah, I just wanted to show that off. Thank you for that, guys. So let's go fight the boss now. So yeah, as I was saying, I wonder who the boss is for this. I wonder who it could possibly be. Oh, look, it's Wispy Woods. I would have never, never would have guessed that. Oh, my gosh, that is such a plot twist. Yeah, Wispy Woods. <laughs> it's him again. Gosh, they never get tired of Wispy Woods in Kirby games. Like, dude, how many games has he appeared as a boss? Yeah, super, super duper surprised that it's Wispy Woods. 
I remember in Kirby's Dream Land 2 where he was wearing like a mask and some like weird looking glasses, which that was freaking, that was actually pretty funny. I like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends too. I thought that show didn't really, there were a few episodes I didn't really care for, but I didn't think that show had a bad season. Dude, and how many times did Wispy Woods cry? Like Kirby's making this tree cry every single time. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the JJ's, guys. So yeah, we got our first piece of the Star Cutter. That's a pretty badass name for his for Magalore's ship, by the way, the Star Cutter. Wario, you're not a you're not a lumberjack, Wario. Wario's trying to play lumberjack, guys. But yeah, what do you guys think about the art style of this remake? It looks kind of weird to me, but like, I don't hate it. You did it, Kirby. My ship has the oars back. Thank you so much. I'm counting on you to find the other missing parts. Keep up the good work. And don't forget to keep an eye out for all those energy spheres. If you collect enough, the broken doors within my ship will reactivate. There's some really cool sub games that you can play with your friends. That is a lot. Not to mention copy ability rooms, all kinds of abilities to try out. And there are several challenge stages that will really test your skills. If you find enough energy spheres, reactivating those doors will be a breeze. Don't you mean a spring breeze? So whenever you see one, be sure to grab it. Wow, you've already found 13 energy spheres. Way to go, Kirby. You've reactivated the door to a challenge stage. I'm going to be showing those off later. It's over in the room to the right. Why not give it a try? I will not be giving it a try today. I love to see a Nintendo and Scribblenauts crossover, but Nintendo is Nintendo today that um, held to, uh, to that crossover. Yeah. Also, yeah, we can come over here and... Well, we don't have any of these yet. Uh, So we have two tickets. Hey, what's going on here? Mystery? Welcome to Kirby. Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So yeah, we're done with Cookie Country. Now we have level two, Raisin Ruins. So we have, so far we have CR as the letters. Yeah, the Deaf Egg is based on the Death Star. That's, it's kind of common knowledge for, for Sonic fans, but like, I can see why some people probably wouldn't know that. But yeah, it is a reference to the Death Star. Also, oh, I for gore, I had an ability already. Dude, and what's with the Raisin Ruins map theme? It sounds like, it sounds like hillbilly country music or something. Like, somebody went, like, really hard on that banjo. But yeah, whip. Oh, and that's pretty fitting that I mentioned that because now Kirby's basically a cowboy. But, uh, yeah, whip is pretty fun. Yeah, Kirby can literally just, like, slam enemies down with it. I love it. It's better in Star Allies, though, because, like, you can combine it with different elemental um things. I'm not going to talk too much about Star Allies, though. I don't want to talk too much about that yet. Because I don't want to spoil too much, but... Star Allies is probably my least favorite of all the, like main Kirby titles, but that doesn't mean that I think the game is bad. It's just, I like the other games better. But Star Allies has a lot of content that they added, which is, you know, that's always nice. Because, you know, games having content added to them always brings out more in a game's potential. Yeah, this is the first game featuring Whip, that's for sure. Sure. 
Yeah, Nintendo is very strict with their crossovers. I mean, if Sonic just blows up the Death Egg, he can just make another one. Eggman could just make another one in like two hours. How, dude, how does Eggman make it, like create these robots in like record time the way he does? That's a question. Okay, we we actually need fire for this because we gotta set that rope on fire and then get to the cannon. I just I want to see Wario in a game that's not a spin-off Mario title or WarioWare. I want to see Wario in like his own game again. I'm sure there's people who would love to see that. Your Wi-Fi's acting like an ass. Well, I think in that case, Shadow, you gotta kick it. Oh, interesting, Barry son. There we go. There's our energy sphere. There's our first one. How does he have the funds to build them? I don't know. I guess because he's Eggman. That's the only answer I have. Oh, yeah. So down there is an ability. I believe that's sand, which I'm going to pick up right here. Sand is weird. Also, I always love the abilities that Kirby gets when he wears a hat with a certain elemental ability on it. I love I love the way sand looks. It's got you got like this flowing sand. It looks like he has Super Saiyan hair or something. But uh yeah, it's pretty neat. Other abilities that's like this is like water, poison. Like he just wears hats with a different elemental flowing from it. Speaking of which, we might just see those abilities in the game. Well, we'll see one of them at least. The other one, maybe later. You're seeing things you shouldn't. I wonder what you're seeing, Mystery. What are you seeing? I'm confused. Nick All-Stars are probably going to be shaking their boots from Nintendo taking them down for being too similar. Uh, I think if I think if that's the case, it would have been done already. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I, I thought you were saying some something in chat was going on. Okay, so you just don't want to be spoiled of the game. That's fine. I thought somebody said something in chat you shouldn't. Well, the thing is, if anybody's offended at what goes on in my chat, well, this probably is this probably is a channel they shouldn't be around, cause my channel is not family friendly. See a mystery. Mystery's the name of SpongeBob Seahorse. Yeah, but why didn't SpongeBob just name her Debbie? Also, Parasol is... I've never really liked this ability that much. It's a good... It's good defensively and offensively, but I, I never really liked using it. But I am going to use it for this mini boss fight that's coming. Who do we have this time? Oh, look! It's the Monkey Man himself. It's bonkers. It's the Ape. The Simeon. Himself. You don't know how to start world world eight. Which wait, what are you playing, uh, Beans? You playing Wonder? Also, where we at on likes, guys? Wait, I think I might have missed an energy sphere. I think I might have missed an energy sphere. Oh my gosh, I think I missed one. If I did, I have to do the stage again. Oh, then I could put 10 like hype in chat then.
You like hammer. Hammer's hammer's good. Hammer. The only thing about hammer ability though, like it's strong, but it is very slow. Like it's such a slow wielding ability. But I guess, I guess when something's strong, it has to have some sort of drawback. Like if you want to use the stronger abilities with hammer, then you're gonna have to wait a little bit. Like this. Like you gotta charge it up by holding up and B for a while to get that really, really strong fiery swing. I'm going to be ending off after finishing Raisin Ruins, by the way. Oh, yep, there we go. Here's the ability right here. Water. See, he has a hat that has water on it. See? I love when Kirby does this. And yeah, with water, he can actually skate across water if he's dashing. How cool is that? He gets to freaking run on water. What's going there? Kirby and Pikmin Gaming. Also, one thing about Water 2 that I actually never knew until like recently playing this, but when he does the water gun ability, when he um spits like underwater to attack enemies, he can it actually is a more powerful attack because he has the ability water. Also, yeah, there's a ticket over here. Yeah, that's yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Okay, here we have stone. I will say, besides the cameo appearances of this, I never. This is one ability I never care for. I never care for stone, no matter what game it's in. I mean, it, it did have some other purposes, and um, I think it was Squeak Squad where they had like stone, could, like you could like punch with it and stuff. But I never really care for stone's ability. It's good for def de defense, like if you don't want enemies to hurt, to hurt Kirby and stuff, he could just stay as a stone for a while. But like. I'm just talking about, like, offensively, I never cared for it. It was, it's just kind of there. Okay, we gotta be quick right here, so make sure Kirby's running to get past the wall. I think you can do that puzzle over if you mess up, though. So, they're not gonna be that mean to you yet. I don't know. Ask Sakurai, Wario. Ask him why your moveset couldn't have money in it. I'm sure he'll give you an answer. Wow, this is this is a well hidden door, huh? That's a very well hidden door. I would I would have never found it. It's right there in the open. But it's just for a one up. I'd say use water ability to hit the bomb and then, yeah, just stay over there. Yes, this is your game, Kirby. Oh, this is a fun ability to use with water. That's fun. I mean, I wouldn't call Sora's Keyblade really a crossover, but I kind of get what you're saying. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to do this, because you got to do it in a... Wait, it's only two options here. I think hit this one first. Oh, never mind. Well, because in later levels, they have those types of puzzles where... If you hit the wrong switch or something, it's gonna you're gonna you're not gonna be able to get the uh, the energy sphere. I guess they didn't want to be too they didn't want to be too um too mean to you yet.
I'm trying to rem I'm trying to think of what this music sounds like. Oh, it looks like we're going to be getting another one of those abilities again from a super ability. Wait, did I miss it? Oh, there it is. I thought for a second it wasn't even here. I'm like, well, I didn't I didn't miss anything. Oh, you can press select to get rid of an ability quicker. So yeah, beam super ability is the flare beam. This is my favorite super ability in the game. I love this one. Also, you probably can see that there's a meter. Yeah, it slowly drains over time, so just be wary of that. I don't need that max in tomato. Oh, there we go. There's another portal to the inner dimension. Also, who's live at the moment, guys? Who is streaming? Anybody anybody that I could raid? That actually... Well, it has to be someone who actually supports me or somebody new. Because I, I... You know, I don't, I don't think that people who, you know, who don't actually support me deserves a raid from me, to be honest. I don't think they deserve it. Hey, what's going on there, Scott? Cause I think I think honestly, like I'm kind of giving them help when you know. Well, basically, it'll be it'll be like showing respect to someone who doesn't respect you back. Like that that's kind of how I feel about it. And I I, I want to feel that mutuality of support. So I'm not gonna raise somebody who's not gonna who's not gonna return that favor at at least some point in time. I'm not saying they have to show up to every stream, but you guys get what I mean, right? I'm going to use Whip for this fight. I'm whipping. Dude, Whip is so satisfying. It's such a satisfying ability to use. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, you are a tiger. I mean, you all—you always do, and I appreciate that. Okay, there we go. There we go. We found them all. I know. I'm a freaking master at this game. I only died a total of one time because I made a stupid mistake. I made a stupid mistake earlier when I when I accidentally swallowed one of those like spider enemies and Kirby just dropped like a rock because he had an enemy in his mouth. It was to it was totally my fault. Kirby is Simon Belmont, pretty much. Dude, I felt like the prize that you get for getting to the like the one platform at the top should have been more than just 30 stars. Cause like in other games, they usually would give like maybe a one up or something. And we got the sand challenge. Oh, and here's another thing new to this game. We got this. The souvenir shop. So this Waddle D can actually. Wait, can I not? Oh, I guess I'm... Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to show that off then. That makes sense. I assume Karrison was streaming has too many raiders. They probably forgot some. But I agree. Yeah, it's like, it sucks. It really sucks. I've had... I've had that happen several times. You know, you know, there's actually, I feel like there's some streamers who even forgot about me, like completely forgot about, well, how can you forget me, right? Well, that's them. Wait, is it? Yeah, no problem, Jake.
Okay, there we go. Wait, that's not... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm trying to get down there because there's... Oh, right, it's this. How did I forget? And it wasn't even for an energy sphere, it was just for some stars. Yeah, this game isn't particularly difficult. Well, going by the whole Kirby standards, it's not really a hard game. But trust me, it gets difficult in some of the other content. Ugh. People complain Kirby games are always easy. Have they played have they played the boss rush modes? Or some of the additional modes that's, that's in some of these games? Because man, it gets difficult. Try the Soul Melter difficulty of one of the other Kirby games, and oh man. You'll see how hard it can get. But yeah, World 2, World 1 is a is a grassy area. World 2 is a desert. That sounds like Mario to me. Hey, Tornado. Dude, Tornado was like the most broken ability in Squeak Squad for like the boss rush. Oh my gosh, it was so broken. I'm not even surprised that they nerfed it in certain other games. Yeah, usually the story mode of Kirby games is typically easy. There we go. There's our first of four. Oh, really? I It made Kirby fly all the way back. But yeah, what that Waddle D does, the souvenir Waddle D, um, there's actually masks that Kirby can wear in this game. And it can change his appearance. So, some masks can actually alter Kirby's voice to sound like different characters and stuff, which I, which I always thought was cool. Because some of the masks are more than just cosmetic. But my favorite mask, oh my gosh, is on the other file of mine. I love the Shadow Kirby mask. Like, Kirby's happy, but under underneath... The mask itself is like the most angry Kirby you've ever seen. That's the one I'm going to be using, by the way, my other save file when I, when I get to that point. What's going on there, Devin? Welcome to Kirby's... Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So yeah, high jump. Uh, this ability is alright. Not a huge fan of it, but it's alright. I mean, any ability is better. You know, the one of the worst abilities in Kirby is, in my opinion, is Ball. Ugh. Never understood why Ball is even a thing. Why is it even a thing? Okay, King Do. Who knew Waddle Do would have had an entire king? I certainly would have never guessed it. Uh, I have not, Devin. Hey, yeah, any stream um raid ideas, guys? I'm not, I'm not gonna get that one up. I don't need it. King Do got that hair do. Yes, he does. And I'm jealous. I'm so jealous. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta go over here first because I believe. Yup. She's streaming. I raided her recently, so it won't be her. There we go. Got them all. I got them all.
Man, I'm so I'm, I feel so weird right now. I feel like I'm drunk and I didn't even drink today. <laughs> uh. Wait, what's that from, um, Devin? Uh, again, two people I've raided recently. Oh my gosh. Seems like it's usually the same people that's streaming. Gotta go for now. See you later. Okay, Scarface, I hate these enemies. They, they, they're supposed to be trying to look really adorable, but then they became these monsters whenever, whenever they're aggravated. Oh, who is it, uh, little tiger? Okay, Bomb. Bomb is kind of generic, in my opinion. Kirby gets to throw bombs at enemies. I mean, he gets to do some in, like, fancy ways, but that's basically Bomb in a nutshell. It's just basic. A basic explosive um, ability. I'm gonna get rid of this Kaboo, because like this guy's gonna be annoying if I don't. Okay, there we go. As low as a streamer we haven't raided in a bit. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I raided him. And they're skitty, skitty mix. I've never heard of them before. You said she's streaming Mario Kart? Yeah, I usually I like rating new channels because new channels don't expect these raids. And they're usually the ones I get the most support from because they've never heard of me before. I think I think the like the people who's never seen my channel before really would they wouldn't be disappointed hanging out with me. I really don't think they would. Oh, I know Mother Three. Yeah, I want to I want to raid him before that game is done on his channel. I'll probably get I probably catch him next time. I definitely want to raid him before he finishes Mother 3. Also, I believe we're going to get water here because of all those five lava blocks. Yup. Water got borrows. So yeah, water can actually get rid of these lava blocks. Which is pretty neat. I didn't need that one up, but I'm still picking it up anyway. I think after this, this stage is the boss, I think. I might just raid a uh, Skitty Mix because, like I said, I've never heard of her. Okay, this is another one of those temporary abilities. So this is like a little bit of an invisibility crystal. So Kirby can use these to go behind these crystal walls. It does wear off after after a certain period of time, so don't rely on it too much. But yeah, that's for an energy sphere. Oh, oh, come on. I didn't ask for your opinion there, Bat. Nobody asked you. They really should release the Earthbound Trilogy. They really should.
Dude, after this stream, I need to rest my I need to rest my throat. Cause my throat is like it feels so like dry and scratchy and it's very uncomfortable. That's why I was debating whether I was even gonna stream today or not. Okay, Ultra Sword again. Because why not? They would. I would love to see a Mother 3 movie. Dude, Mother 3 would make me cry, bro. It would make me cry so hard. I'd be crying like a baby. You guys gonna see the Zelda movie? Because I know I am. I'm a huge Zelda fan. I'm a huge Zelda fan. So you know I'm gonna go see that movie. Oh, look. It's a portal. I sure didn't see that coming. I think this is the end of this. Yeah, this is the end of the stage. Usually the portal things is at the end. These uh, super ability sections. They're usually at the end. Oh, and by the way, that wall that's chasing Kirby right now. Uh, don't worry about it too much. It's not gonna instantly kill him unless he gets like crushed. But it can be a little bit annoying in certain sections because there's some of these sections with this wall that are just like really thin squeezes. Wait, you didn't like the Mario movie, Scott? I thought the movie was pretty good. Not the best movie I've seen in my lifetime, but I do like the Mario movie. They need to make a Wario movie. I mean, I'm pretty sure they would if they cared more about your character, Wario. It's unfortunate that they don't seem to care about you very much. Because Nintendo is not being very smart. I'm not saying a new Wario, a new Wario Land is gonna like, it's gonna fly off the shelves, but it's 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 gonna sell because people are wanting to see a new Wario Land game. Oh, your husband likes Zelda too. Nice. I don't mean Zelda Two Adventure of Link. I'm to my like, as well. Oh, 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 I almost died there. I almost died there. Oh my gosh. I almost died. Dude, that was so close, man. That was very, very close. Oh, Ganondorf's definitely going to be in the Zelda movie. He's definitely going to be in the Zelda movie. I miss... I forgot to press A. I totally forgot to press A. Dude, I can't wait to see what the Gorons are going to look like. Yep, boss time. Don't worry, guys. The boss isn't what you would expect in a Kirby game this time. It's not Wispy Woods. Okay, Booming Blasters is a mini game. No, I think I'm going to stick with Sword for this one. Oh, I get you, Scott. We got a floating turban with hands. Oh, it's not a floating turban. Mr. Duter. Not sure what kind of name that is, but um, okay, Mr. Duter. And he's juggling skulls. That's kind of creepy. Oh gosh, Mr. Duter has... Mr. Duter has a tornado ability. Yup. He is a genie. And I, I, I actually really like this boss. But I absolutely hate his other form, which we're not going to be seeing in this in this uh, main story. 
And there we go. Easy enough. Mr. Do-Gooder. Oh my gosh. There we go, guys. That was Raisin Ruins. We're 100% with that world, too. Okay, Magalore. Time to visit you again. We got another piece of your Star Cutter. The Lore Star Cutter. Dude, genies are cool. They're cool. Imagine being able to grant a wish. Like, how awesome is that? You did it, Kirby! My Star Cutter has this right wing back in its place. Once we find all the parts in this baby can fly again. I'll take you on a trip to my home world. I come through a distant land. It lies at the end of the interdimensional tunnel connected to your planet. It's really far away, but the lore is a beast. It can get us there in no time once it's fixed. I do hope you'll take up my generous offer. Well, that sounds very nice of you, Megalore. I, I, I actually will want to take up your offer. Okay, so now we can come back here and access one of these doors. So yeah, we can get abilities here. I don't like Apple devices, to be honest. Also, yeah, this little um fake Kirby thing is actually like a sparring thing where you can test the abilities out. But I've already showed up all of these, so it's nothing new. But yeah, guys, that was that was Raisin Ruins. Okay, let me let me look at this channel. Let me look at Skitty Mix. Okay, so level three is Onion Ocean. I'm not going to be doing that, that today. We're going to be saving that for next week. Uh, so yeah, Onion Ocean. That's O. So we got C R O. Um, let me let's look up this channel real quick. Ha, ah, I found her. I found her. Oh, she's a smaller channel, too. I'm sure she really would appreciate this. She has a really, really adorable looking, um, what's it? What do they, what do they call the, um, I always forget what they're called. It's like the things that kind of like talk and move whenever you do, but it's not actually your face. What is that called again? I cannot believe I don't, I don't remember what it's called. Can we trust them? Yeah, we can trust Magalore. Magalore is in no way not trustworthy. No, no way at all. VTuber, thanks guys. <laughs> Cannot believe I forgot what that's called. Oh my gosh. Um. Anyway. Yes, an ocean of onions. I'm sure it smells really good too. There we go, guys. I got the link. Anyway, guys, um, thank you for joining me for Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. And I am being raided at the end of this stream. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I don't know how many times this happens, but I'm getting raided at the very end of my stream. What's going on, Asher? Welcome to the stream. And one of my mods get Asher's If it ever shows up. Oh. There it is. I got it. Yeah, thanks, Asher, for the raid. Um, Paper Mario the Origami King. Oh, nice. Hope you had a fun stream. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, so let me let me let me put the thing in there again.
There we go, guys. But anyway, guys, um, yeah. Thank you for joining me for Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So if my throat lets me, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming some more. Not tomorrow, not tomorrow, uh, Friday. I'm going to be streaming some Mario Maker 2 again. But um, anyway, guys, this has been your host, Rob Marsum. Thanks for joining. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.